I'm Phoenix Vice Mayor Kate Gallego. We're filming On The Go, and right now we are at the Maricopa County Skills Center in District 8, where we're highlighting the Youth Build program. I have the pleasure of Kimberly Faust as our guest, who leads our workforce development on the youth side. Kimberly, welcome. Could you, you tell us a little bit about Youth Build? Absolutely. Youth Build is a Department of Labor um, competitive grant that the City of Phoenix has received for the last number of years. And it offers um, youth that are at risk the opportunity to get um, high school secondary education, construction trade, hands-on in construction building of uh, residence, residential homes, and then also provides them with leadership opportunities. Wonderful. Together with Councilwoman Laura Pastore, I have the pleasure of working on the My Brother's Keeper initiative, which is the President Obama's initiative to invest in all young people, yes. but particularly young men of color. And this is part of that program. Can you tell us who, who is served by this program? Um, we serve almost any youth that's at risk, um, young men of color. You'll be interviewing a couple of our wonderful students later on, and you'll be able to see that we outreach to everybody within the community that really didn't succeed in regular uh, traditional schooling. And so this offers them a new opportunity to come in and learn some hands-on skills and make sure that they're really prepared for the future. Fabulous. We have a lot of doers in this community, and it sounds like this is a program that appeals to people who just want to be out there working, getting things done. Yes. And it has a component that includes sustainability. Yes. We are very privileged to also partner with Habitat for Humanity, and our young people are just getting ready to go out to start building a house for a very well-deserving family, and it will be a uh, platinum graded house. So they'll be able to learn things like uh, solar paneling and all sorts of other things that will help the family become uh, energy sustaining and be very successful in the future too in their water bills and electrical bills. And this is a unique program because you get out there, you get real experience, but you also get a GED. Yes, you do. And the GED is a great component to it because most of our young people did not succeed, like I said before, in traditional high schools. So this offers them an opportunity to come together and learn what they need to learn. And then almost immediately they get to do hands-on application with it as well. And it sounds like it's a real win for our construction trades as well. We've been hearing particularly on some of the fi finishing trades that there's a real demand in our community for more people to enter the workforce. And there is a demand for it. And so what we do is make sure that they've got the basic um, construction uh, groundwork laid and they're able to go out and become very successful too. And now that we've had several years of the program, we can actually say that there are folks out in our community using the, what they've learned in youth build. Yes, we can. So I just heard last week of somebody who was participating, who participated in the early 2000 program, and he actually owns his own electrical company now. Fabulous. Yes. Well, congratulations to our youth work workforce team on another successful application for youth build, and we'll look forward to hearing from the young people as we continue on the go. As we continue to focus on the Youth Build program, we're with two participants in the program who are going to tell us a little bit more about the program and what their plans are once they complete the program. First, we'll start with Christopher. Could you introduce yourself and tell us what are your interests and why you're part of Youth Build? Um, hi, my name is Christopher Porter. Um, I'm here in the Youth Build program. I really like the program because it's hands-on and I like working with my hands and the construction allows me to do that. Um, we built this shed right here and uh, we're going to be building a house in this month for Habitats for Humanity. So that's my interest in it, really. Wonderful. And we're also with, also with Francisco. Could you tell us about your background and why this program makes sense for you? Oh, this program is really important to me. I was a high school dropout, and I came here to try to better my future. Uh, it was a great opportunity here. I don't think uh, I would have found a better program than this or a new program like this one. So yeah, I think it's a good opportunity to better myself. And what is your long-term plan and how does this fit in? Um, I'm trying to do either uh, electrical engineering or go for entrepreneur. Fabulous. Well, we'll be lucky to see what happens next for you and how we can all benefit from the business or the engineering background that you get. And then in this program, you um, get a lot of hands-on experience. So will it help you? go into engineering or entrepreneurship? Could you talk about oh, yeah, the program? Yeah. Uh, we have a little bit of, we're going to do a little bit of electricity. We do here uh, the basics of everything. We, we learn everything, uh, the basics, and we want to move on to 
here we find out what we want to do, what we like in construction, and then we continue that trade after this. And this program is a better fit than a traditional classroom environment you've mentioned. Could you speak a little bit more about that? Yeah, yeah I feel a lot more comfortable here, and everything is hands-on. They show you everything. Uh, instructors are really good instructors. Uh, I've learned a lot since I've been here, and I've been here two months. Wonderful. Congratulations. Christopher, could you tell us about the GED program and what will it mean to you? Um, the GED means a lot to me because I had dropped out of high school early. So for me, getting my GED would be a, a big accomplishment. Um, and it's different from a regular classroom setting because the teacher, he, he really know how to explain and break stuff down to where I can understand it. So that helps. And then, like, he takes his time to help us, even if we don't get it after he explained it. And the students there, they help, too, you know what I'm saying, the ones that do know it. So it's just real nice and different, and it's very valuable to me. It's wonderful that it has a real team feel, I Definitely, think. Definitely, yeah. And a partnership. Definitely a big team effort. Everybody helps each other. You know, it's a real nice environment. Can you talk about how the other things that go on in this campus and what might next be next for you? Um, next for me, like I said, after I get my GED and after I finish the construction part of it, I'm going to re-enroll into the Maricopa Skills Center for welding. And uh, once I get my certificates in that, I'm going to start my career in welding. Fabulous. So that's a great uh, occupation. I think it pays pretty yeah. well. So we'll look forward to seeing what you make and helping us Definitely. build Phoenix. Maybe build some um, bridges or something. That's good. In this some area, railroads or something. we have a lot of need, and we have some of the bridges that most need to be upgraded. <laughs> so Definitely. we'll need your help in that area. For sure. Could one of you give us an example of a, a great day in this program and something you enjoyed doing as part of Youth Build? Uh, first, do you want to take that question? Yeah. Um, uh, well, to me, uh, one of the best days here is when uh, we actually go out and do hands-on. Uh, they actually show us how to build walls, how to nail, how everything works, basically. The, so we'll uh, do everything safely and correctly, you know, because we're going to go and do it uh, in someone's house. So we need to know how to do it to be able to go up and perform at the job site, how it's done. Wonderful. And could we close with your advice for what type of person would do well in this program and who should look at future youth build classes? Yeah, um, anyone that wants to uh, better their future, they've had a, they want a second chance because a lot of people don't get second chances. And this is a great program that offers that opportunity. Fabulous. Well, thank you both for helping us spotlight youth build and what it's doing for the greater Phoenix area. We look forward to seeing you build Phoenix. Thank you. I'm Kate Gallego and this has been On The Go.